Okay, you guys are. Bro, wait, I gotta get to my spot here. You gotta do the and action. Oh, yeah. And action. Hello and welcome to the safety news. Ah, thank you. Thank you for Thank you for watching today's safety news. I'm your safety correspondent, How We Make It Better, and I'm joined today by our head of CNC Services, Andy Brokett. Welcome, Andy. Good morning, Howie. Thanks for inviting me. Glad to have you here. I'm sure our viewers are want to know more about this coronavirus thing that's going around and how to deal with it. Absolutely. The Corona Disease 2019, most commonly referred to as COVID-19, uh, was discovered in China and has since spread globally, affecting the health and well-being of millions. 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 Millions throughout the world. Well, I was speaking recently with our demo super, supervisor, Sean Yu the right way, and who tells me that there is uh, as yet no vaccine for COVID-19, so how do we prevent getting the illness? Well, the virus is mostly spread through person to person, so the best way to minimize the chance of spread is social distancing. Social distancing, is that like staying away from Facebook? <laughs> so, <laughs> social distancing is maintaining a distance of six foot or more from other persons. In some cases, it is nearly impossible to do, uh, but to prevent uh, the spread of droplets, we were asking uh, everybody to wear a mask and uh, I screwed that all up. <laughs> Well, that's okay. You did just fine. We're asking people to wear a mask. So, um, uh, but I understand the biggest symptoms of COVID-19 is a cough, fever, and breathlessness. Breathlessness. That's breathlessness, breathlessness, according to the charts that I have. I'm told it's similar to the flu, but the trouble breathing is more common with the COVID-19 than it is with the flu. This is true, but even more problematic, this is some affected persons that are asymptomatic. No, asymptomatic. What did I say? Asymptomatic. All right. Asymptomatic. Asymptomatic. Do you want to start this over again? Asymptomatic. No. Well, seeing as how you can't pronounce it, can you at least <laughs> tell me what it is? What is asymptomatic? Asymptomatic means that some people's contact the disease can sp and can spread the disease, but never show any they symptoms. They contact the disease. It can contract, contract the, disease. the disease. That's right. Uh, so, well, if we can't tell who's sick or not, what steps can we take to prevent the illness? Besides social distancing, wearing masks, uh, avoid close contact with people, um, avoid large gatherings. Like trade shows. Yeah, like trade shows. Uh, <laughs> if you're not wearing a mask, cover your mouth with tissue when you cough, sneeze, or use your elbow when coughing. Use your elbow like doing the dab. <laughs> Go Panthers! I guess it's similar to that. Also remember to wash your hands often and thoroughly at least 20 seconds. Uh, with soap and water. If soap and water are not available, then you, uh, use hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol in it. Okay. Uh, so then it would follow, based on that, that we should also clean and disinfect fre frequently touched surfaces daily or, or as often as needed. Yep. 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 All right. So let's recap so far. We want to maintain social distancing and avoid large gatherings of people. Yes. Uh, wash or sanitize your hands and minimize touching your face. We want to cover our mouth when we call for sneeze. And, <laughs> and clean and disinfect frequently touch surfaces too. Right. Oh yeah, and don't forget to wear a mask when social distancing. Right, right. I understand that Whining Holzer has provided masks for all their employees. These are the ones that we've recently provided to our technicians in the field. Uh, what is the proper method to use these masks? First, each mask should fit snugly against <laughs> the face and be secured with ties or ear loops. They should ear loops sound like lobe loops. <laughs> I like that idea. They should be made with multiple layers of fabric and be easily washed or dried without losing their shape. Okay. F uh, place the mask to your mouth and nose. Snugly. 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 <laughs> Attached to the ear loops. Okay. Like this. Yep. Now pull up and down on the fabric <coughs> to cover the bridge of your mouth and nose. Well, it's a good thing I had to cough then. Cover it. <laughs> Remove the mask by reaching up to the ear loops and pulling off. Pulling off. And there goes the glasses. There goes the glasses. There goes the glasses. Put your glasses on so you can see what you're doing. That's right. And then we just put them away. Make yep. sure And make sure we wash our hands thoroughly after doing so. Right. Okay. 20 seconds. Um, well, I learned Second a lot water. about the mask. Uh, thank you. But, uh, hey, uh, you are the head of CNC Services. 
what are our technicians doing in the field to protect themselves and our customers? Well, first, our techs will not go to customer sites if they are known or even suspected to be ill. Um, and second, if they suspect that they are developing symptoms, they will immediately leave the work site and report directly to their supervisor by phone. Okay. Uh, in addition, we are making customers aware that we are not advising our techs not we are advising our techs not to shake their hands and maintain social distancing of at least six feet. Um, if possible, we are also want our technicians to wear masks at all times. Well, well, hey, I've worked in the field before, and and I know what it's like. Sometimes you get in an environment, it's hot, it's it's uh, you know. You, you put on a mask and your glasses fog up and everything else and you have trouble breathing. How, what do we do there? Uh, I understand that that's a problem. I understand that masks not, may be removed. I understand that masks may be removed, but when a customer comes in close contact to talk about the job, the mask must be worn. Must, must be back on. Yes. All right, what about cleaning and disinfecting surfaces? Are our techs carrying disinfectant with them in the field or, or gloves? Um, no. With the, they might have them um, in their personal uh, items when they come on, but with all the tools that they're required to carry, uh, this is not necessary. If a customer has uh, cleaning wipes or gloves that they would like to provide for our technicians when they arrive on site, we'll be more than happy to use them in, in, in the proper manner. Well, it seems that Winding Holzer has all the bases covered. Yep, we're trying our best to follow the federal, state, local guidelines and still provide the customers with the best service possible. Well, I think you and our techs are doing a great job. Uh, well, that concludes our show. Uh, stay safe out there in this time of uncertainty. And remember, worrying is like a rocking chair. It gives you something to do, but it doesn't get you anywhere. I'm Howie Make It Better, and this is the Safety News. <laughs> Freaking dumpster fire. <laughs> Thanks for your support there. Do you want